Welcome back to Trash oh, Tuesday. Hey. Today in studio as our current Kalila replacement, we have someone very similar. I've also <laughs> Bobby Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Mark Norman. Good to be back. Um, well, this is the first time I'm in the in the studio. Yes, I was in your weird little therapy seat <laughs> in New York. I have not. I was like, I had so much fun over that one. I was so for the therapy session. It was so, I was like, what is going on here? We bonded. Ellis. We got close. That was trauma fun. bonded. Yeah. And congrats on the new special. I started it last night. It's so funny. Oh, geez, thanks. And it's called Soup to Nuts. You got it, sister. And it's all over my Netflix. Like, oh, I great. Like it's crazily All trending. over your Netflix? It's all over my Netflix. <laughs> I'm nutting all over it. That'd be a great porn uh, site, Netflix. <laughs> Netflix. You gotta get that Do domain. It. Or it's like a game you guys play when you're teens. Netflix. Yeah, yeah, Bangkok, remember that? How does it feel? <laughs> like, how does it feel to have it out? And it's been out for a couple weeks now. It, it's bittersweet because uh, it's doing well. People seem to like it, but then they come out and see you, and I got no new stuff. I know. So you're like, this. now I got to pump that shit out. Any ideas, audience? Right, right. I've got the paper out there. It just has swastikas on it. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just, I've got to pump it out because they're like coming to see you, and the agents are like, go make more money. Yeah. They're like, I need a minute to build material. Yeah, and the agents won't let it happen. No, no. They won't. All their other clients are on strike, so they're like, we need you to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I loved how in the opening you started with like having audience, like the audience shout stuff out and you reacting to it because I do feel like that's become a very big part of stand up, especially like developing new stuff or just like if I'm trying to get like a crowd work clip or something. Right. So I was really excited to see that incorporated in a special. But how often are you not pulling that off? Like how often oh. are they throwing something off and you're like, good next. Yeah, a lot of editing in there. <laughs> a lot of guys like, I'm a uh, Pakistani and you're like, good job. I love your people, you know? <laughs> I know how to pack a fanny. That's what I was <laughs> no, um, Porn domain. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash trash Tuesday today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash trash Tuesday. Head to factormeals.com slash trash 50 and use code trash 50 to get 50% off. That's code trash 50 at factormeals.com slash trash 50 to get 50% off. Hello, sluggies. Um, what a fun episode. Thank you for joining us. Um, I am on the road on the Welcome to Anywood tour. You can see me in San Francisco at Cobbs. That was so fun. It sold out last time. I can't wait to see you guys. September 15th and 16th. I'll be in Austin, Texas in October. La Jolla in October at the Comedy Store. I think I'll be filming my special there. So that will be extra special. And I'll be in San Jose and Houston and a lot more dates are getting added. So go to AnnieLetterman.com slash shows and you can see me every Thursday on Anniewood. And uh, Annie Wood and Friends at the Comedy Store, the date will be posted, so check my Instagram. Um, I don't know the exact date yet, but you will see it. September something. Hi, you guys. I am so psyched that for the first time ever, I am coming to Madison, Wisconsin in two weeks, September 14th through 16th. I'm really looking forward to this. I'm definitely a cheese Midwest girl. And then I'll be in D.C., Boston, um, San Diego, Detroit, Chicago, San Jose, and more. You can get tickets at estheronice.com. I can't wait to see you guys. Now, I'm going to shoot a special soon, and I was thinking, Ooh. I like pace so much that I'm the editing is going to be hard. Like, all of a sudden, I'm going to be like over in one corner. That'll be fine. I mean, Chris Rock is like a fucking yeah, but preacher up he, there. But didn't he do his live where you watch the whole thing? Well, he, his old ones are, are paced. Yeah. You'll be fine. But then he goes to like Africa in one. Remember he like. Oh, he, yeah. He like all of a sudden is in like another country yeah. in another outfit. There's black people and then there's Africans. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he, he paces. You'll be fine. Pacing is good. It keeps people interested. Do you do that at all your live shows where you take like the audience stuff? Is that why you incorporated it in the special? No, because uh, A, I hadn't seen anyone do it. And everybody's like, you got to get them up top. They, they click out after like two seconds yeah. if they're bored. So I was like, put that in the front. 
So it's it's kind of action packed a little. Yeah. And I love the opening, like because I'm from Chicago. Oh. It was so cool to see the L represented in TV. Yeah. I was so excited. Um, what made you decide to shoot it in Chicago? Well, I kind of blew my load in all these cities. You know, like, we're gonna shoot <laughs> yeah. at this date, and I'm like, well, I've just been here. I've just been here. I can't sell another ticket in Chicago. We hadn't been to in a minute, so we did it there. And it's a great comedy town, as you know. Yeah, I was so I was also extra excited because the Vic where you shot it is there was once a, a Dropkick Murphys concert there that I didn't even know what they were, but these cool kids invited me and my parents wouldn't let me go. So like the Vic had like a very childhood like uh, I had FOMO. A FOMO. For yeah. It, yeah. Wow, you were a Dropkick gal. <laughs> no, I I not at all. Oh, I just wanted to her be with friends the, were going. The cool people. Go, yeah. Got it. And then my parents were like, "This is not happening." Well, it I'm, was a good protection though. <laughs> yeah. Like, tiny and it easily drop kicked. No, I fully would have died <laughs> yeah you would have gotten killed but i'm the only idiot that booked the theater i was like the theater's open book it and it was saint patty's day oh and, you know, that is the, oh that my is god the worst the worst, the worst. Oh. It, everybody was hammered one guy like hit his girlfriend and stopped <laughs> the show it was wild to jerk off yeah <laughs> yeah wait because you know in chicago saint patrick's day is insane oh yeah and at my college which is the university of illinois champaign urbana they have something called unofficial saint patrick's day where like all the kids start drinking the friday before saint patrick's day at like 8 a.m and they oh. drink all day so maybe that, it's because the school is called champagne that could be <laughs> that could be why is it the longest name of a school what is it called university of illinois in champaign oh, okay it's there's the two place, cities yeah. which i don't fully understand either but were people like so reckless? Hammered, yelling out stuff. A lot of that front part of the special with the crowd work was them being shit faced. They started the crowd work. Sometimes yeah. it happens. And you're like, I guess we're going here. You got to go there. And it's a Netflix statement. So you're like, I want it to be perfect. Yeah. Uh, and then you see some guy like, blow me. And you're like, <laughs> oh, shit. But uh, we, we we pulled it together and we, we got something out of it. But were you nervous? Terrified. I was like, this is my shot. This yeah. is all I got. Wait, did yeah. you do a one show only? We did four. In, just for that reason. In how many nights? One? Two nights, two That's shows That's so funny night. to pack in four on St. Patty's Day. Like, yeah. let's see how many fucked up people we can get in here. A lot of editing. I'm always performing on the worst. Every, I've never taken, like, the right weekend off ever. Yeah. I'm always like, oh, sure, this weekend's open, I'll do it. And it's always, it's always Halloween. a drinking thing. Yeah, you're in Winnipeg in I'm like, February. Oh, like, oh, yeah, no wonder no one would take this. It'll be like, I always go to, like, Tampa during their, like, pirate festival. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, everyone's always coming in with, like, peg legs. One time I had a guy who would literally come in with an eye patch. Wow. But it wasn't, it was Tampa, but it wasn't until I was like, oh, are you doing, like, the thing? But Are you just trying to pretend that you didn't love that? I was very excited about it. I asked if I could sign under the eye, but. <laughs> Did you do any yeah. hard R's? All right. <laughs> but. <laughs> yeah, there's always something. Hey, the uh, strawberry fest is in town or whatever, and you're like, God. And it and then it is like their main thing. Yeah. Like, oh, for fuck's sake, you're gonna go pick strawberries, and then it's like, why can't you pick strawberries and then come to the show? I know. Or like, I went to St. Louis or somewhere. I went uh, and they were having like an old fashioned car thing. Uh, I'm like, you yeah. can't look at cars and then come to a show. Right, right. Yeah, and look they always the... they always say it to help you when you don't don't sell tickets. They're like, well, it's not it's not you. It's you know, Comic Con is here or the the kids. What do you call those? Uh, where they beauty pageant with the yeah. little kid? Those are hot. You're like, yeah, that doesn't con conflict. Yeah, at all. no, no counter uh, cross culture here. No, I wish my agents would do that. That would be awesome to give me. Like, I just go there, and then the owner will tell me, and I'm like, okay, at least you're not mad at me. Right, right. They're always nice. Well, it's July. Everybody's out on the boats. You know, there's always some excuse. <laughs> they're mad. I feel like they're mad if I don't. Of something. course, they're like so pissed at me. They'll be like, well, I'm like, fuck you. Where's your marketing? Exactly. When I started comedy, you would go to a club, it'd be full, and then you'd leave. They didn't I... know who you were. Exactly. They would be, and it was fun. And then they take out of your. If you look at the breakdown, they take out of your expenses like six hundred dollars for like promotions you're yeah like, well, where i know and then what if you're a sellout like what if you're a draw yeah where's exactly. that 600 going give me that i know well here Bloody we are bone. guys if you want to know the hand sides of yeah sorry what our contracts are wait yeah. so mark are you actually like literally on tour right now as the special just came out yeah i don't know what that means when people say are you on tour okay yeah, well, i've like, never been are off you... tour yeah exactly but because that seems so like you said so difficult you just burned like your hour oh yeah what are you doing up there it's about 20 minutes of stuff i got some stuff that i kind of had on the back burner right. and then 30 of like so black people are late, you know, <laughs> just like trying to uh, and Filipinos. Apparently, I feel like we should call crowd work uh, back burner, back Hannah burner. Oh, she's taking it over. I like it. I like but it. I will say um, that is a fear of mine, too, because I've 
like the idea of having to go with all new stuff. But do you like announce this is new? I feel like Taylor Thomason does that. She's like, come see me work stuff out. That's like, I'm going to do that every time. <laughs> Guys, this is my first time ever doing these jokes. Right. I'm so proud of you. It's a killer hour, but you're like, I'm working it out. I'm just that good. <laughs> yeah. So you got to say that up top. And I think some people like it. They're like, oh, he's got the notes up yeah. there or whatever. But uh, I think most people are like, you know, I paid a little, little. I have a, I have a guy who he comments on every time I go to Philly. He like, he's like, she brought notes out. It was like 2014. It was like my first headlining gig I'd ever done. Yeah. He's like, she brings notes out. Don't go. I'm like, come on, man. What? Really? I'm like, come on. Give me a break, motherfucker. Give me a break. What's up with these losers? These Reddit queefs. (laughs) But you know when you like know them, they're there so often. You're like, how do I recognize you? And you're like, do you love me or do you hate me? I know. Why are you still around? You're like, still like, you haven't left me. All you do is criticize me, but you know every single thing about me. You know more about me than my father. It is weird when I know them by their name, though. There was one guy that, like, he kept bothering. Like, he would give too, like, detailed of... He would say things like... um he said, like, I liked Annie so much more when she lived in her car. Like, she was so much oh, cooler God. before she, like, had a boyfriend. I was like, <laughs> you want me to, like, be, like, miserable, yes. suffering, starving to death? Exactly. And then I, like, got mad at him once. And then he was like, you shouldn't know my name. I was like, Ron. He's like, how do you know my name? <laughs> but now he, like, comes to my shows. I'm like, Ron's here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Ron's going to kill you one day. But then, no, Ron will day. kill me. And then he turns on me again. And I'm like, now that I fucking have acknowledged you, you can't turn on me again. Yes. He's like the Selena fan club guy, you know? <laughs> I mean, has to don't act like if we don't have some no but that's so funny that your own fan was like why do you know my name <laughs> that was the perfect answer I was like, that's the best point. comeback ever <laughs> like i want to say that to someone one day you shouldn't know me <laughs> never a good sign too we'll do live shows for tuesdays with stories and we're like oh that guy's here again that we know our whole audience yeah not good i mean we're glad you come but uh it's a little embarrassing. Well, though, it's how do you feel about people that come multiple times in the weekend? That is the worst. Well, it's just like I want to do new material. I'm like I I have like it's psychotic, but I'm like I want everyone to have like a completely unique experience. Of course, every time. of course. So it's like when they come, you're like, fuck, I'm just gonna redo. I don't want to put those things in the same order. Totally takes the magic out of it. They're like, oh, I see behind the curtain now. Because a, com- a joke has to be a surprise. Yeah. They're like, oh, I know where this is going. And they always say, no, I get it. But they're not laughing. Yeah. So I'm like, fuck you. you <laughs> yeah, we, st- we need you. We're feeding off you. Yeah. I feel like um, I went to, she told me that I can't mention this, but I have to mention it every episode. I went to the Nickelback concert. Whoa. And uh, it was monumental. I can't help it. You just saw Taylor Swift and you're bringing up Nickelback? <laughs> well, because Taylor Swift doesn't have this problem. Okay, what is So it? The, the issue that Nickelback has is the opposite opposite of us where they the fans only want the hits they don't want any new stuff so they have to sneak new stuff in and everyone's like so bored and sitting down in their seats right. and like looking at their phones and then with us it's like i, I mean it would be heaven to be able to do that uh, it would be heaven like but it wouldn't you i don't think you would enjoy it though but you could pull them out like right. to be able to pull out like a bit you know has been killing for 15 years okay so i have an alternate point of view on this and i don't know if this is where I stand, I just want to present it. But like, all right, Jonah Hill with the therapy talk. I was <laughs> an alternate point of view. I was. Um, that, I that recently did a show mm-hmm. in I think it was Raleigh or Atlanta or one of those places. But like afterwards, <laughs> these girls came up to me and they were like, "We were so upset you didn't do the dog fetish bit." And yeah. I was like, "What?" Because I so I started posting. This is exciting. I started posting like some of my material as clips, and I I've been so insecure about it. I'm like, I can't do those bits. Like people have seen it, and Dave keeps telling me like nobody cares. Do it, and then for that to happen, where they're like, no, we want to see what the, you post. That's very exciting, and you're doing God's work. That means that means we're changing the what they want and if that if that is what they want that i can give that i can deliver yeah. i can deliver already written jokes that i know work yes exactly. it's writing the new material that's the hard stuff but but um i feel like it's okay to do that as long as you don't hesitate beforehand and deliver it weird because you feel weird about it because i have mm. i had like my kanye yeezy bit that did really well online and then i feel guilty doing it but sometimes it just comes up like someone's wearing yeezys and right. i like, want to go into it and if i if i do it where i feel weird and like guilty or something it doesn't do as well totally but if i go like deliver it like they've never heard it it always as well no yeah you have to sell it like ev- like yeah. with everything i mean do you ever do repeats or have people come up to you and be like why didn't you do this yeah but i don't trust them because it's always one guy or two guys <laughs> yeah. you know and they don't speak for the whole audience so i think if you just play like all new they're happy yeah but it was at least go watch it at least encouraging that like for me like i can i feel like i can post clips of some things and still do them agree clips is one thing a special i think is different but a clip yeah although like yeah 
sometimes like a topic like will come up that's something I did in my special and I'll just throw it out yeah, there. Yeah, right. if, if it pops into your head yeah. it's like in the moment or whatever. Is anybody getting this? I think there's some guy driving a truck going, all right, <laughs> talk about Comedy. sex. Yeah. It's always weird how people get in a relationship and they look shittier. I'm like, so now the person you love has to deal with your how disgusting. How disgusting you are. Yeah. Well, I look at Todd and I'm like, now I never, I never care about like what he eats or anything. And now that we're getting married, I'm like, you are not going to be like a bald fat guy. Like, there you go. It. Good for you. I won't allow it. And I just smack the taco out of his hand. And I yeah. Get the shit out of him. Yeah. You hear that Lizzo? <laughs> That's right. Lizzo. And I make him eat the banana out of my <laughs> asshole. Oh, no. I like that scenario to me is like, there's no, there's no way it was bad. No, there's no way it was bad. Amsterdam. Come on. And also we got into rock and roll. It's fun. <laughs> you know, what do you go be an accountant? If you don't want to eat a banana out of someone's snatch. <laughs> I was talking to Fahim last night at the store. And he had a good point. He was like, we've all been sitting on these Lizzo fat jokes, but we were like, I don't want to be mean. I don't yeah, want, but yeah. now it's like, all right, <laughs> unleash the beast. <laughs> good stuff. Somebody had a great line. They said, uh, I'd stand by Lizzo, but there's no room. I love that joke. <laughs> Fun is that stuff. a tweet or on stage? That was it. Somebody tweeted it's that. It's on stage. It's not gonna. Nah, nah. It's a. It's a written. That's a horrible when you do. Okay, oh. sorry. We're going back into comedy. No, it's. I can talk comedy all day. It's hard to not talk comedy. What else are we gonna talk about? Your wife. <laughs> when did you get married? November eleventh, two thousand twenty-two. Cool. I remember the date because it was oh, the that's day my date. soul left my body. No. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, it was in New Orleans. It was a perfect night. She killed it. She planned the whole thing. It was awesome. You just had to show up? I just had to show up. I did shrooms. Did you? Yeah. I was thinking how fucked up I want to be on my wedding. It helps because it's comics and family. It's worlds colliding and it's emotions, you know, yeah. and I'm not good with that. So I took some shrooms, which might have been a mistake because I was at the altar and she looked like Artie Lang. You know? <laughs> Her face was all warped. You were never harder. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm marrying the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> I do love Artie Lang. Artie Lang is a king. He's do you best. have any sense of what you do want to have for your wedding? No, I really like, I just want no pressure and fun. Rock my, star. Like, family, like, whatever. Is that your drink? Rock? No, Monster. 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 No, I do uh, Five Hour Energies. Oh, yeah. wow. You're an animal. Yeah. How do you do it? You must be shit and blood. <laughs> yeah. All right. See? No, I like to shit blood. It feels good. It makes me feel alive. <laughs> if there's no blood on my toilet seat, what am I doing? You got a bidet? Of course. I did my first bidet <laughs> a week ago, and man, it is life changing. It's amazing. Amazing. And they make them very affordable. <laughs> I can't, sorry. They really do, yeah. But You I can do a range of them. There's one in here. There's like a nice like Japanese toilet Ooh, in there. Ooh, I'll be shitting. <laughs> and like, you can pick what color you want the lights to be in the water. Damn. Yeah. So my shit comes out purple. I do it blue, so it comes out purple. <laughs> I was once staying in an Airbnb that had a toilet that when you walked up to it, it would lift the lid. And I was like, I don't know how I'm ever going to go back to life without this. And then Without realized, the toilet acknowledging your presence? Yeah. And then I realized my toilet at home, the lid is always lifted. Like, this isn't a service I need. <laughs> it looks so stupid, but like I got used to it. It feels good seeing it go up like that. Yeah. <laughs> do you ever worry like the wind will blow and you'll fall into it? <laughs> Table flushing. We don't have a windy indoor. I I want to remake. I want to remake the um, inner space with you. What's that? Oh, Remember? Yeah. Wouldn't that be good? Great idea. What it that? was um, uh, Martin Short, Qu uh, Quaid, Dennis, Dennis Quaid, not Randy. Who I parted? <laughs> Randy, my favorite Quaid, but I have partied with Dennis Quaid. He really? gets shrunk. Yes, and it's a great story. He's a hunk. So sh he, he gets shrunk down, and then he gets ingested by Martin Short. So he's like in his body, but he's like a tiny. Wait, I want that. There it is. You could be either, Martin. You could play either character, honestly. <laughs> it's like uh, the Magic School Bus. Yeah, it is. Remember that? It's, it's a Magic School Bus for adults. Yeah. Fun. Ooh, it's like, honey, I shrunk my... Uh, oh, yeah. My lunch. A lot of shrinking in the 80s. <laughs> it was. Weird. <laughs> Never noticed that before. Now all shrinks. Yeah. Therapy joke. Yeah, I like it. Wait, so, Mark, have you... Um, seen any taylor swift concerts lately no i can't afford it no. <laughs> uh i don't i don't care for the music I, i'm i'm impressed with her i just it doesn't connect with me i'm a heterosexual 39 year old okay. i will say to i went to the concert there were like boyfriends there mm -hmm. i did not see any true straight men like with their bros going to the concert which i was surprised i thought she transcended really you know, like nate bergazzi loves taylor swift yeah so yeah they're out there but he has a daughter and a wife so it true. could be the daughter involved involvement 
But it, I was so impressed by her. I felt like sad I didn't know more of the lyrics. She did 44 songs. Wow. And I know like two, two songs really well that I really like. And I realized I don't even know the lyrics to that. Mm -hmm. And it was like, ooh, you feel like such a loser. Wow. Oh, Everyone knows. I know it's it's Bizarro Land, yeah. but when you're there, you're in her world. Right. And it's like, you are the loser. <laughs> I mean, every single lyric. She went with Nikki Glazer, which I can't even imagine. Nikki knew everything. Oh, did Jesus. Nikki have like a sign? Nikki was trying to be like the little girl she like gives the hat to. <laughs> <laughs> she yeah. should have been. Um, no, Nikki just like, it was so funny to watch her just truly know every single word. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Sometimes we're faced with crossroads in life and we don't know which path to take. That happens to me all the time. I'm always in some, what do I do, liminal space. And Look, we have annoying friends. We have friends, we talk about this on this episode. We have people that, that are negative or take a long time on the phone. And therapy has been an indispensable um, part of my life. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. And also like BetterHelp has this really cool journal feature, which I love where I'm able to kind of put down my thoughts in between um, my appointments and I can bring them up with my therapist on our next appointment. So I love that feature. Also, like the best part about it is that if you don't vibe with a therapist, which happens a lot, by the way, yes. and it's no fault no fault of theirs or yours. Sometimes sometimes <laughs> it's just not a match. It's that easy to switch. I know. There's so many times I've just gone back to people because it's like too awkward. To right. Help. But BetterHelp makes it very, very easy. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Trash Tuesday today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Trash Tuesday. Guys, we're busy. Not only are we busy, but some of us can't be trusted to cook for others. Okay, that is fine. Factor is America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit can help you fuel up fast with chef-prepared, dietitian approved ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. Honestly, cooking, portioning, I don't, I can't. Like, I'm a busy woman. I'm on the go. And Factor meals are so delicious and they're healthy and they make things so easy. And you can choose from over 34 weekly flavor-packed, dietitian approved meals ready to eat in two minutes. And level up with gourmet plus options prepared to perfection by chefs and ready to eat in record time, which is very important to me. Treat yourself to upscale meals with premium ingredients like broccolini, leeks, truffle butter, and asparagus. And also, if you're looking for like a calorie conscious option ahead of a busy season, try delicious dietitian approved calorie smart meals with around or less than 550 Look, calories per serving. I tried to have the weight, the 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 scale to weigh out my food. I'm it's just not for me. It's not going to happen. So I can't personally count my own macros. That is um, something I will never do in this it's lifetime. Not, it's not. It's not worth my me. time. It's not worth my life. And so Factor doing it for me is what's up. Head to factormeals.com slash trash50 and use code trash50 to get 50% off. That's code trash50 at factormeals.com slash trash50 to get 50% off. But your comments, I don't know if you've read yours. You should never read them. Why? It's wild. Just, oh, man, she looks like a kid. To no. Take that diaper, pull it to the side. No, they do <laughs> not. Yeah, they it's not wild. Say that. They can't be that overt about it, but they really, they do think they've discovered you, like, in a daycare center. Like, yeah. like I found Stop. that hottie. That is not true. This hottie toddy, oh, this hot crazy. toddler. She definitely doesn't have pubes. You know, <laughs> she's got a hymen, all kinds of stuff. Oh, my fuck her in her baby ass. Yeah, that I regret writing. She but is a spinner. <laughs> She's a spinner size. They can't help themselves. Yes, yes. Oh my God, that's not true, You're a you guys. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I don't. That's the one thing I don't have. I don't have the girl, little girl thing. A lot of guys love that, like no. young toddler girl. Oh my thing. God, they do. I have not a lot, but oh, it's they out do there. follow Esther. I've never. No, you finally. No, you. I'm telling you, like in the past two years, you now look like you're in your twenties. Yeah. You. Before it was like I was like they need to be on a fucking list like it really yes. was like you looked so young yeah, and it wow. was weird but now i'm like i i let them i'm go you can have at her it's just so weird because people always I trust that you're not doing anything bad always say this to me and i've literally never been with anyone who's like 
let's like play that up. Like no one wants. Really? That. Yes. Uh, yeah. Oh, I assume the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> no. I your dates were at a playground. <laughs> and, you know, you're having a, a Capri Sun. They spike her like yeah. little like juice box. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Have some Flintstones you vitamins. Buy, like a little ju- juice box. <laughs> a little juice box. A squeezer, a little liquid comes out. I identify as a juice so box. They go on a date, they just shake their keys in your face. Hey, there you go. I mean, see, the sad thing is I would love that. Like a date at a playground sounds so fun. Oh, no God. one wants don't, that. You don't do like to be baby. Guys. That is funny. I know. No guy no, wants because that. Because they look like pedophiles. Yeah, they, they want it. Because you look it. so little. Like if they were to do that, like... Dave would probably carry you around in a baby Bjorn. Oh, that would be fun. He would never do that. <laughs> That's a headshot. you're naked, but she's naked. Yeah. <laughs> and going out. <laughs> what? What do you even mean? Pacifier. The whole thing. Cradle. Stroll. You and a stroller would be fun. <gasps> this is unfair. Um, what is it like being... <laughs> Way to change the subject. Married to a fellow stand-up comedian. It's good and bad. It helps because you can have a dialogue about it. Yeah, I can feel her jokes. That's a good premise, but I kind of am the one with the... I can do the menstruation. I'm on tour, baby. Let's go. Yeah. (laughs) It's good because you can have a dialogue about comedy. Like, we, we all have talked about comedy. You can do that with her, so she gets everything. It's not like... Who? What's a Comedy Central presents? What's a tag? You know, she yeah. understands everything, but then it's also she like does like to explain what your credits are. She yeah. Has to know <laughs> yeah. What's a premium blend? <laughs> uh, but yeah, then but then it's hard because she's on the road, I'm on the road, and uh, we're all trying to. We're sitting at dinner. Like, are you going to use that? That, that, that oh, I dinner? really. Oh, that. I yeah. That. Wait, that's actually so fun that you're actually sitting at dinner and like coming up with bits to the point where you have to like divvy them up. Oh yeah. No, that's so annoying. Are you that's kidding? Worst. That's when I've done so a comment, it's been, it's been the worst. Or it's like someone kind of like has the premise, and then the other one does the punchline, and then you're like, no, no, no. Yeah, that's or tough. then like when you see your ex, and they're like still doing your punchlines, and you're going, and they're getting like the best laugh, and you're going, oh, I want to tell people that was mine. Yeah, that's true. I want to tell people I did that. Or you're having sex, and something silly happens, and we're both kind of like. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna take that that whole queef chunk. <laughs> like she queef, but I thought comes of it. Out. Yeah, yeah, a little baby arm <laughs> comes out. <laughs> the old miscarriage. That's what I call her. Uh, from marriage to miscarriage. Ooh, that's great. That's a good a memoir. special. Yeah. <laughs> we on the race towards it. We have to fight. <laughs> <laughs> We have to fight over our premises. Yeah. Do you guys want kids? Is that in the cards? It's in the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> I got them nice and frozen up. I got some she has quarter four Asian. Boys. Four quarter Asian boys. Nice. Oh, is he Asian? Yeah, he's what? half Asian. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> oh, can you believe it? I'm bringing Asians back. Wow. Well done there, Shang Wang. <laughs> Shang Wang is cute. Y'all, funny guy. Yeah, he's great hilarious. comic, cool dude. He's kind of got a little swag. I, he he does. His hair's like all long now. I saw him in Montreal, and he was doing jokes about like turnips, like smashing, doing these jokes about. I'm like, God, I turnips? wish I could be one of those. Yes, I just wish I could be one of those. Like, he's talking about like green onions, and he's like just destroying, That's yeah. leveling Dang. the place. I'm like, fuck, like I like. Yeah, he's great. He's got a bit about salmon. It's the only color. Like, salmon's a color. Like, I have a salmon shirt. He's like, it's the only color based on the inside of an animal. And you're yeah. like, Pfft. Yeah, it's like, so that, good. You know? That is scary. And it's like, I don't yeah. know if he smokes pot or just gives vibes of smoking pot. Like, it's like he took, like, high ideas and made them. Right, right. Classics. We just had Whitney on the podcast, and she's pregnant right now. And I feel like that all gave us, like, a little bit of baby fever. Does that mm. does that ever happen for guys? Eh, it's as, is it as contagious? Like an abortion fever. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like Saratolamash, uh, Rosebud, Whitney. Yeah. A lot of people are getting prego. It's it's the season. It's really uh, bringing like coveralls back too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. To me, that looks like the worst thing you'd want to wear when you have to pee a lot. Like, oh, good point. Like yeah. a onesie, but I guess I don't know. But you all, you got your first three minutes. Hey, I, I, trying to kill it i didn't want to keep it hey yeah. i'm not gonna keep it you know whatever it is so you got like three minutes like, of- oh i'm crowning we better hurt yeah this up. yeah exactly rosebud we did a fully loaded and she you know it's eighteen thousand people and she would just walk out and be like don't worry i'm not keeping it <sighs> yeah you oh know? my god kills do you she kills the baby right yeah. Yeah. obviously wait do you feel like you want kids I, I want the 25-year-old at dinner at Thanksgiving and we can all get along, but I don't want the sleepless nights, the shitting, the grades, the school projects, the you know, all that shit, the uh, periods. Well, isn't that good that you're the dad? Yeah. You really <laughs> yeah. don't have, have to have any of it. it. You just not do that. That's true. 
I know. I feel like it's interesting that it's good. I feel like Ali Wong did us all service by doing like her pregnancy specials. Mm -hmm. Because before that, I just remember thinking like, wow, having like a kid as a female comic sucks. And having a kid as a male comic is like like career change right. all this material point. you're now relating to the world and then i and i always felt like it was like uneven but now i think it's good point yeah wong out. wong did two pregnant specials schumer did one pavitsky did a pregnant thing Pazitsky. what Pazit- pazitsky <laughs> sorry oh, a lot of polacks around here <laughs> i've never known the difference isn't that funny i literally have been calling you the wrong you didn't even time. notice what he said <laughs> christina p yeah. There she you. does us the service. And Esther does a little Esther for us. <laughs> yeah. Whitney's going to do one too. Yeah. Of no, course. it's now it, it truly is a trend. I kind of love it. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. need a first man pregnant <laughs> special. It's coming. <laughs> My fiance does look like the pregnant man. Speaking of pregnant men. Here comes oh my God! Delilah. Walk of shame. Look hey. at her. Yay. Walk of shame. Where were you, whose bed were you? I'm in? gonna have to have a whose bed with were you, you in? I wasn't in anyone's bed. You're she dressed like you had to throw on your merch shirt to get here. <laughs> Wait, you you got a thing in your dress. hair. No. It's cum. It's cum. Whose cum is it? Out of her hair. There you go. It looks like the Playboy Thank Bunny Liz. sticker that I want for my. No, I return. honestly thought we were starting at one. That's so sorry. I. Sh- I should have oh, sent an extra reminder. I almost did. No, it's my fault. It's my fault. My fault. It's all my fault. I'm so happy. Still got here before one. You're good. <laughs> I love. You're early. I love when other people are late. <laughs> it's like my this favorite was, thing in the world. This is one and in, not an intentional late though. This is like I really thought my anyway, late aren't sorry, intentional. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um. What's what's up, guys? What are we what are we talking, We're talking about? We're talking about prego kid. comedians. The, I don't. I didn't get any baby eventually. fever from from. It wasn't like baby fever from Whitney, but it was like really? if this person is having a baby because she seemed last time I talked to her, she was like it would be archaic for me to have a baby. Right. So I was like, okay, we're not having kids. <laughs> and then she's like pregnant. I'm like, fuck, are we having kids? <laughs> right. God exactly. damn it, Whitney. What the hell? And that's gonna be the strongest baby ever because the Percocets and the propofol <laughs> that that baby's fighting off in the womb, <laughs> to, dodging like the Matrix. No, that's a sober baby. That's a sober baby. No, I you're contest. right. I I think I'm gonna. Well, I told the girls that I was probably just going to settle for like a truck, a guy at a truck stop and just whatever. <laughs> whoever, knock it out. Yeah. Whoever I bang the baby out will with travel. first. Whoever cream pies me effectively first is the baby. I'm now, I. OK. So Wait, I like that fiber. term effective cream pie. Yeah. Effective. Because yeah. not all cream pies are effective. There's slow, mo- ba- slow motility. Some of the sperms are broken. Neck. It's like you want it with right. you want it with pulp, <laughs> not without. <laughs> with pulp. Oh, my God. You're right. Have you ever checked your sperm? No. But I've gotten two girls pregnant in my day. Fuck yeah. I think I'm okay. You're good. Yeah. Cool. Couple of borscht. Yeah, yeah, them? that's right. We talked about this. You paid for three or two? Three in my day. And you only and you were the father of only two? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One was like a as wayward sister. Right, right. It was just some black guy outside. I was like, I got it. <laughs> and do you offer a immediately? Pregnancy? Are you like, hey, I got this? Or is it? You offer because you want to be a gentleman, but you're secretly like, I need this to happen. Right. So I'll pay for it. I'll make sure, sure that money's not like an issue. In the yeah. And do you yeah. go with them and you give them like porridge after like to, to you know, do you porridge? Take care of like, well, porridge. that's I have my sister makes the best abortion porridge. Ah. Abortion <laughs> porridge sounds like like the meat that comes out. It does. You do add it on top. Ah. <laughs> that's the same thing. No, but I, I she does. She makes this like really. It's kind of like Wait, a, a Roscaldo, but it's really good. I know you were kidding, but. You know how people eat like the placenta? Yeah. Does anyone eat their fetus? Is that what Annie. the Ooh. Annie? And I want oh. you guys to go on Reddit, Sam Tripoli's Reddit, and figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second, but do you are you there throughout the whole process? Are you like following up? I'm following up. Make sure it happens. <laughs> but, uh, I'll do the Uber. There you go, sister. But when I did it, was, it was free Uber, so uh, it was in. What if you were driving, but you made them get in the back, like as if it was an Uber? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, two were in New York, so you know. It's a walking city. So yeah. wait, what is the pill? The pill just is supposed to go in and just kill it? Uh, yeah, but you have. Oh, it it was excruciating for me. I really? hear the it worst was, things about the abortion pill. It really, really? causes it forces contractions, so it's a really. Oh, you have to deliver like, the baby. That's so sad. Basically, yeah. It, what? It basically feels, at least for me, I don't know. I think some girls it works. You know, I don't usually get period cramps, so the feeling of cramps is not. Um, a, it feels like. Period cramps times 10. Yeah. And you're just sitting there waiting for it to pass. And you look down, you're like, I think that's it. But it. Whoa. I wonder if getting difficult. kicked in the balls and period cramps feel the same. Yeah. I wish I could just have balls one second to it's know what it feels like. It's the worst feeling. 
I got hit in the balls. Uh, I posted on my Instagram, and it was a football right to the balls. I was out for a half hour. Really? Yeah, you feel it in your stomach. It's it's really bad. You got bad. like nauseous kind of? You get nauseous. You get like waves of pain. It's brutal. I felt like a lady. I had a heating pack on me. You know? <laughs> I was eating ice cream. Wait, where does, the tra- uh, where does the pain travel to? Like in your abdomen? Yeah, it goes up. It like hits the intestines. I don't know because it's all connected. You feel like you have to shit? No, not really. But it won't go away. It, it lingers at pain. It's I feel so cute. bad. I was such a ball puncher in middle school. Oh. My brothers, <laughs> no. I kicked my brother in the balls so bad. Do you think if you had balls, you'd be safe? You punched men in the balls? That was not men. Yeah, just not men. Yeah. <laughs> we were flirting. We are flirting. Are yeah. you serious? Yeah, guys flick each other in the balls. Yeah. Balls are always getting... It's so sensitive. It's a perfect target. It also, yeah, it's a fucking, it speed looks bat. exactly like the speed bag. But yeah. wouldn't you be kind of afraid that there's like something sexual about that? Well, well there are... were all guys I had crushes on. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Get some dick in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, in the, it's in front of the balls. It was my first hand job, technically. <laughs> <laughs> right. My first true hand job was much more brutal than that. <laughs> oh, those are the worst. They probably would have been like you know, the teenage, just like, but you're say, happy someone's touching your penis. That's true. My that's hand true. jobs are still brutal. I'm terrible at hand jobs. It's just a Never means learned to getting going forward. I've yeah. never that learned. Thing. Can't you just go to the mouth? We're at that age. We're still doing <laughs> hand jobs. What are we doing here? Yeah, because I have TMJ and I have nasal valve collapse. Oh, so when I give so blow jobs, I can die. Breathe. I could die. die giving a blow job. So I have to what a way to go. Use the hands, <laughs> and then she'd be all rigor mortis like. <laughs> Did you see Bo is Afraid when um I haven't seen that yet. Uh yeah, there's like a scene where someone gets like they die like fucking and they're in rigor mortis in like a banging position and it's someone that's you've always wanted to see topless. Oh nice. It's a female you've always wanted to see topless. I'm not gonna give it away, but um, very exciting. So what did you get a breathe right? That might I, help. So I use those, but then I had to stop using them because they bruise my nose. Ah. So I have this like. Is there a nasal strip. CPAP you could do? No, I'm supposed to get it fixed. Apparently, they it's get like a the hottest your blowjob ear. ever. <laughs> There's a nurse ready to just give you like right. chest compressions right. if you die. They get a piece of my ear and they use it to like open up my valve. They have done that. Damn. No, they haven't done it yet. I'm. I keep waiting because I don't want to be out for six it's, weeks. It's a You'd look cute though with like a little bruised up nose. Yeah, but then it's just going to look like I got a nose job. But if you but you would if you were doing that. You no. wouldn't just trim it up a little too? No, they don't do that. I would. If something Her was going on. Her nose is right. perfect. My insurance pays you, you wouldn't notice. Okay, good nose jobs you don't notice. She does not need a nose job. That would be a nightmare. She's a perfect nose. Thanks, That's sister. a shame because you got some DSLs. Get <laughs> I mean, those lips are made for sucking. And the teeth are very <laughs> oh like, God. they seem like perfect, like lightest scrape. Just the lightest, Yeah, right? maybe a nibble yeah, yeah, on the yeah. head. <laughs> but they're nurse shark teeth. They have no. Um, my dentist shaved down my incisors when I was fifteen without my permission. Whoa. So I have nurse shark teeth. They cause no injury to penis. So you're built for beach. Thank you. <laughs> but apparently She's a not beach the nose. Babe. Yeah. And the TMJ doesn't help. Uh, so that's where TMJ that really is. horrible hand. And job then comes the in. only way to help right. the TMJ is to get Botox, and then your muscles aren't strong enough to. Right. Yeah, it, I'm. What I'm, a waste. I'm a lost. Uh, I'm a lost lover. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Damn, it's like a really hot gay guy. Like all these girls like him, but he just hates clam. <laughs> <laughs> that happens constantly, by the way. Yeah, that's because lesbians. I find this is gonna get ugly. But <laughs> I find lesbian guys aren't really. You know, they're short hair, flannel, boots. You know, and but gay guys are smoke shows. They're all ripped and they're all like root. short hair, boots, flannel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that sucks for the ladies that you're like, these gorgeous men are all- Well, also, in- you're talking about a type of, like, you're talking about, like, butch lesbians, and then, so, like, the gay guy you're talking about is, like, a butcher gay guy, too. It's, like, they're, like, a equivalent of that type of lesbian is, like, a guy in, like, tight, sequent, sequent like- Right, right, pants, that's Where we wouldn't point. be, like- Yeah, yeah. because- I, I I love half gay boys. I love boys that have been with other boys at mm. some point. But I'm not attracted to the super like coiffed hair. Oh, uh, okay. Gay man. I need him to be a little bit more disheveled and dirty, like you, All know, right. you know that type. Even more, <laughs> I think they're called otters. Yes, right? the otters. The gays otters. call me an otter. Wait, yes, why? You're an otter. You know, you're like a little hairy, thin, not too big, like there's bears and there's otters oh, yeah. and there's an twinks. Otter? Yeah, you're definitely an otter. Wait, am I an otter? Where's <laughs> your circus seal? No, you're more of like a muskrat. <laughs> you're like little, we could use it to do experiments on you. <laughs> you crawl in. Yeah. Wait, these, I, these are otters. Wait, Mark, have you done that? I've done the two guy girl. Shut up. Well, college was Come wild. on. Yeah, and I've done the two girl guy. 
which is those guys have done the two guy girl for sure yeah it's Freya we're friends what yeah side by side worldwide I remember like I think it's more of like the community college hang when it's like you bang like in the hotel room together yeah like they're not like you're just banging next to you. you don't really have a choice because your friends are there you don't have money for another room and then you're like all right, right one person starts banging you're like well what are we gonna just sit yeah. here yeah then she starts blowing the other guy and now it's on <laughs> <laughs> i don't understand like where was i during the where were you <laughs> you were outside the dropkick murphy concert <laughs> crying. <laughs> crying you're on the phone with your parents uh, complaining of why you're not in the threesome <laughs> why did they invite you into the threesome <laughs> Oh my God, that's crazy. Like, and is that like a fun memory? It probably or feels like a threesome because every guy is like so much bigger than you. Annie. <laughs> two people against one. <laughs> do you feel like you can't believe you did that? Like, was no, it fun? Do you want to do it again? No, I got it out of the system. But you know, it was college. Everybody was wild. If your wife was shit. like, it's our 10th anniversary. <laughs> oh, it's no. time. No, nah, I wouldn't want to do another guy with the wife. Oh, <laughs> another guy. I mean, another oh, another girl. That would, that would... No, another guy would be like crazy. Yeah, that'd be weird. <laughs> I mean, Adam twenty two is is eating his words. Oh my god. Oh, he's god. so sad now. He's so salty about it. I don't blame him. Wait, hey, what's going on with Adam? Oh. He had like a black guy for his wife's birthday or for their anniversary. He had a black guy. Is this the no jumper wife. thing? Yeah, and now he's like he's pissed about it because the guy like wasn't respectful. It's like he's not. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, disrespectful in what way, though? Was he just like... I think he just banged her out too hard, and then he was maybe talking shit a little bit. And he's a huge guy. Yeah, he's huge. Big, giant, black I black thought... guy with gold chains. Wait, I thought <laughs> Imagine she brought just like an emo, like oh, a black guy with that would like be great. regular penis. Wait, yeah. did she choose the guy, or did he choose know. him for her? Hold on. I thought the story was that the this couple does porn together, there and then yeah. they decided that she was going to do a porn with a different man and the the husband was like thought it was great and cool it was his present to her okay and then all of his friends and all these people on podcasts are like why did you do that and he he like kind of got embarrassed that he let that happen of course well he the guy wasn't like nice and respectful about it is that true what do you i mean i get respectful to her not to no about him no 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 he was like talking shit Uh, oh about the husband yeah i didn't know that which is hilarious that's how you want it to end you want the guy to be like you let me fuck your wife bitch ha ha right what am i gonna be nice yeah i'm gonna be be like oh thank you sir he fucks everyone i would hire brad williams (laughs) (laughs) that would be my go-to See, we recently got um, a question from a fan or someone was approached by a couple. um, They approached a man asking if he would (coughs) fuck the wife and let the husband watch. Okay. And he was like, he didn't want to do it. If you were single, would you do that? Be unicorned into a relationship? Would you fuck someone's wife while they watch? I think so, yeah. Really? Yeah, I think so. Like in Florida on a gig, I would do that. (laughs) But then it's like, yeah. As long as I don't have to touch the guy. I had a, I used to always get on the road when I was single. I would get so many um, random couples, like regular looking couples that would send me, like they'd they'd hit you up through Facebook. Does regular mean not hot? Not unhot. Like once you see them, the pictures they send you, oh, that person's hot. I didn't realize they were hot. Right, right. But like teachers and shit, like just oh, regular yeah. jobs. I think so many people in the middle states when we travel, like they get married so young that they become freaks like, yes, early on. Exactly. And um, it was always just so crazy. I never would do it. I feel like some comics have, but I'm just like, it, I don't I don't know. I don't want them to have, I would want them to sign an NDA or something. I don't want them to have that story about. Okay, that's point. what I wanted to ask you. Have you ever had a girl sign an NDA? Have you ever had anyone sign an NDA before um, doing anything sexual with them? No. Um, because I recently drafted an NDA <laughs> really? for somebody. And I was like, wait, is this a bad move? Um, only because I I don't know. Like, just I'm a little bit insecure about, like... The internet? Yeah, the internet. Yeah, I don't That's know. so, like, celebrity vibes of you. That's <laughs> so... Congratulations. Well, hang on. Can I read my NDA to yeah. you? Oh, my God. Is this allowed? I'm the happiest I've ever... This is the juiciest thing. Oh, no, it was a heard. really... It's like three sentences long. Wait, I'll have to find it. So you talk amongst yourself. <laughs> uh, okay. So disappointing. Now guys that hang out with you are like, wait, I don't... Yeah. You don't care. It was kind <laughs> of half jokey, but basically it says, I, 
blank name willfully agree to never speak of change narrative or mention any relation sexual or not with Kalila. I hereby give full confidence to Kalila the retelling of our sexual rendezvous for her to share all forms of her creative storytelling yes. in all its forms here and after our consensual this is not an NDA this is you getting like a contract signed so you can use a story <laughs> oh really and yeah yeah <laughs> yeah but Same. they can't right mm-hmm. that's that, pretty good is that I think a guy would be fine with that he wasn't. Oh. What? No. What Matt Reif say? <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't. He said, I reserve the right to tell my friends if I'm excited about a girl. And well, He can tell a friend. I can't stand it. I had, okay, so I had this like hot New Zealand guy in my audience. I've talked about this a little bit. He was so hot that I was like, I'm like, I've never been like, I'm going to fuck an audience member. But it was like, I, I mean, he was just so hot that I was like, I might have to. So I was kind of like joking, flirting with him from the stage. And then afterwards he was like, okay, what's up? Let's go. You know? And I was like, no, no, no I don't know. I don't think uh. so. Like, Cause I just didn't try. I don't know. I don't want him it's like writing girl. about me online and shit well, like that. Well, it's so right. different being a girl. I think. Well, I just don't yeah. want him like, yeah, it's like, and then everyone's coming to the shows. Like I travel alone a lot of times. It's like, I don't want them thinking they can fuck me or whatever. Sure, sure. So then, and then I was like, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I don't know if I'm, I'm down. And then I did an Instagram live and all of these like dudes were on there like, are you going to bang my friend? And I was like, oh. you already told them. <laughs> but he, then he begged me. He was like, please. And I was like, all right. I have to oh, you did it? Yeah. Oh, nice. I love that. What, that sounds so, so fun. What's a hot guy to you? Uh, he was just, I mean, literally so like ripped, tall, dark. He was from, he was. um. I can't I believe know. you said ripped. Yeah, They're he was so, different. so fucking. He's from New Zealand. Yeah, is he Maori? Yeah. Oh, oh those what? Guys are <laughs> so fucking hot. He was like a professional athlete. He was oh, so wow. hot. Of course, Annie, you had to. He was. Yeah. I could not. I resisted for a while, but then it was hot because he was begging me. So I was like, okay. Ooh, wee. Anyone else hard? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. No, but it's like, but it's so different. Like guys, it's like you guys are, you know. When yeah. you're single or whatever, you can fuck every girl. Well, that it's, is really. It's tough because a lot of female comics are like, oh, it's so unfair. Women don't unfair, get hit on, but... blah, blah, blah. But then when women do get hit on, they're like, I don't know. This is weird. The guys are creeps. And I'm like, which one is it, ladies? Do you want to get hit on or do you not want to get hit on? I don't think it's unfair that you, that I think it's just, it's not, it's not like unfair. It's just like, it's weird for me to fuck the audience. Yeah, we're different. And man. it's totally different. normal for guys to fuck right. the audience. It's not like, and I don't think it's unfair. It's just like different. I agree. Because I- it's like, I mean, imagine like you can go to Annie Letterman shows and she'll suck your dick. Like imagine right, right. what my shows become if like Reddit was like, right. I banged her, I banged her, I banged her would be insane. Yeah, agreed. You want to like break that seal. Uh oh. Sell out a world tour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. My jaw would hurt so bad. <gasps> oh God, what's going on here? <laughs> Lizzo. Pre-pussied. Oh, great. <laughs> One's been in the asshole you have to pick. Uh, smells like Esther. <laughs> I know Esther's asshole when I smell it. Baby powder? <laughs> <laughs> Diaper ash cream? Uh, <laughs> Wait, you don't like ripped? No. Me neither. No, we don't like Like Come chubby. On, though. Chubby? Hairy. No, I like chubby too, but it's like when you get a guy that's just like smoking fucking hot. Okay, here's, no. here's, here's the deal. If he's if he's naturally just genetically predisposed, oh, not someone that's just like been pumping iron, but not a guy who's just a gym bro out. No way. Not I feel like my middle school, like my middle school, high school flame, my like on and off again, was so like genetically ripped and hot that mm-hmm. it's like I I am like my mom. Mm-hmm. My mom doesn't really need to work out, and she's just ripped. My uncles really? are the same way. She's just genetically gifted, right? Mm. But if it's a dude with, you know, spends eight hours at the gym, really counts his macros, I'm out. Got it. Bo- boiled chicken in a Tupperware. Oh, yeah, that guy's annoying. Yeah, yeah. What well, is weird? It's like, what are you doing? And like, are you competing? Is this your thing? Well, if you're in competition, sure, that's one thing. But if dudes just do this. Yeah, but like, I'm like not, I don't want to go to like my boyfriend's like, muscle competition <laughs> he's like at a speedo and shit it's like it really is pretty gay it's like, super gay and there's so much like fake it's like spray tan like yeah. not like getting a spray tan like like they're rubbing tanner oh no the tanners that they use it's like t- it's black body yeah it, right. they, they use like 10 times darker than it should be yeah i think like any like sign that men acknowledge their own looks is like a weird turn off okay mm, like how like <laughs> Like how? Like just like men that like care about what they look like. I don't. Like I do that. like guys with style though. I do like. Uh-huh. I used to always date skaters because I feel like they like just have an automatic style. Mm. A lot of them, 
And um, but I like this younger generation, like the boys with the nail polish and stuff, I think is actually pretty hot. Really? I do some necklaces on them, but it depends. But they have to have like really good bodies. Oh, wow. Okay. And they have to read masculine in other ways. Got it. There's a guy on The Bachelorette who knits and it's like, I'm like, oh, he's got to be doing it for pussy. Yeah. He's so hot. It's come like, on. come on. Will you look this guy up? He's so hot. Why can't he just have a hobby? Of because it, and then things are unfolding where he's like a cheater. It's like, yeah, you're a cheater. Mm. <laughs> because he knits? You pull him up. He's so yeah, hot. Yeah, because put, I like, feel knitting. like knitting on a really hot guy is like a high level. Chest on a uh, bachelor. Like, there is some type of manipulation right. happening there. Interesting. Ladies, you're interesting because I, I knew a kid in the 90s who would just carry a camera like on his neck. And girls love the camera. And I'm like, who gives it about the camera? Like, what about his face or his body? But Wait. like, the camera's hot. No, what? you're what right. I recently about? went on a date with a guy who no, had a camera not... on his neck, and it's he up here, was yeah. instantly hotter because of it. It's weird. You got to seem like standing Wait, up. He's like, what so are you guys hot. really? A camera makes a guy hotter. You see, that's why women are tough because you're all different. We can't, we can't <laughs> figure you guys out. Okay, Xavier knits charity a blanket like the speedy oh, he is. Guy's... He looks like nerdy there, though. No, he's not. He's this not is gay. the guy. He's you have to see. He's there is he's hotter. Person. He's. Look yeah, he's cute. Face. He's cute. No, he's hot. He's got Kalila's lips <laughs> and teeth. <laughs> but he sucks dick. No, he doesn't. <laughs> so he turns out he's a cheater. He's not. Yes, a... he is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, what? Yeah. It's on. He's on The Bachelor. He's on The Bachelorette. Okay. Okay. This is a good season. This which mm. is hilarious. Is this the black season? Because I yeah, but there's still a white. There's a white guy at the end. Oh, okay. Um, and then the next season is their first golden batch. I can't wait I'm for that so one. He's like, that I old? Don't, that's just like finally guy. hilarious. <laughs> My pace. Do they keep the same age female contestants? <laughs> yeah, I know that's ah. so scary. No, but the women are only going to be like forty or something. They're going to be like, yeah. we have the elderly when they're forty-two no, or something. I literally want my mom to be on that show so bad. She's still with, we your, dad, get with your dad. He's eighty. Like we, it's well, no this guy's soon. seventy. <laughs> Is he 70, Annie? Yeah, he's got a hearing aid. He has a hearing aid? And all the jokes are like he doesn't know what social media are. It's uh, like so fun. No, you know what else I want them to do after this spinoff is like, like kind of like our age? Because The Bachelor was what, like they 20s? They did do it once. They did 30s? Yeah, they did um, Claire, this one chick, Claire Crawley. Oh, that was a disaster. But that and was then a pandemic. she left with a guy. Yeah. Like, they, she was, Dale. But she's like too old. She was just like, <laughs> let's just leave. And then they had to bring in like another person to finish the season. Right. Damn. So I don't have time to pretend I like all these guys. Yeah. What about Pacino? Just had a kid with a young lady and so did Mick Jagger. It's so weird. Wait, how old is Pacino? Gotta be 80, 70. Well, the kid's gonna be oh. fucking so rich. Like, yeah. at least they'll be provided for in that way. Kalila had a really old dad that died when she was a yeah. teenager. My dad died when I was a teenager, but he was 80 when he died. So he was born in 1924. Wow. So he had me in his well into his 60s. Wow. But these guys are older than that. And that's it's why weird. she can't give good blowjobs. It's true. <laughs> this is why. her dad could never get hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just recently learned um, from Corinne and Christina that guys can have you when you're at home jerking yourself off you don't have to be fully hard to come you can be what? I don't know about that apparently some dudes can be like just half chub and still come no, do this... guys like ever just tune into girls podcasts and go like they've got this completely wrong we don't listen <laughs> <laughs> but... yeah, I guess you're right you're not like I'm gonna go listen to right and I already we to should go because it's good insights for guys guys are so clueless on what you ladies are into no we literally have half male listeners okay there you yeah. go they should listen <laughs> And we give, learn. they learn nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. But that was a guy who couldn't get hard. He's like, trust me, guys can come. Like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's all that was. But no, you got to be rock hard to shoot a load. Really? Because oh, yeah. I think that their producer, Dan, was his name Dan? Who? He was, uh, the guy in the room was like, no, 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 you're right. Like, guy, you can get a half chub and just come that way. You Who's producer? pre out, but Christina I don't know about Christina and Corinne's. Oh, really? Yeah, he was, he corroborated the story. He was like, you're right. I can't think of anything scarier in life than like a soft dick coming. <laughs> <laughs> like that is that is so nightmare. Why do you me? get the reward when you haven't even? Like I hate everything about she it. She needs yeah. it to stand up like the toilet seat. <laughs> Just standard. Right when you walk in, it goes up like a barn with an Amish guy. No, it's not. <laughs> it's yeah. Oh, soft, yeah. Soft dick is it's tough. Sad. I even as a married guy, 
I hide the soft dick. Really? Yeah, just it's a bummer. Nobody wants to see that. The turtle shell. Yeah, it's yeah. Turtle shell. It's like an acorn in a bush. It's bad. <laughs> you know, and, and you're I, full bush, right? Full bush, baby. <laughs> I look like that plant over there. But yeah. And you don't mind the hairs going up the shaft? I those I might trim a little because you know you you want all the shaft you can get. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But uh, I also just for optics, right? I walk out backwards too. I do a underwear <laughs> on the junk and then walk out backwards. I don't want my asshole exposed either. Why not? That's eh, got a hair and a gummy bear in there. I mean, who knows? It's a mess. Full bush is so funny. <laughs> um, it's been to the movies. Yeah, it, oh. it, it, it's running mate is gore. <laughs> That's an old reference. George Bush. <laughs> a good time. A good time for politics. A fun time. Fun time. <laughs> yeah. Um, you voting for Trump? I've never voted, actually. Uh, but I like this. Uh, there's a couple interesting candidates out there. Uh, that RFK's ripped. Yeah. Zaddy. He's a dilf. Yeah. But he's kind of <laughs> sexy, huh? No, but he's No, he's ripped. cute. He's a Kennedy. There he is. is. so hot. Is he? Look at his little butt. Bobby Kennedy oh, is Bobby. so hot. Really? Yes. Now? So clueless. Now oh. Annie. <laughs> do you think that Bobby was the hottest? <laughs> I do, for sure. Yes. Not John? John no. Is... What about JFK Jr.? He is really hot. Smoking oh, hot. Yeah. I like how he yeah, yelled yeah. at his girlfriend, too. I was like, ooh. They were fighting. I know the drama. I love all the fighting. I was like, oh my God, passion. But the hottest candidate. His... Yeah. Do you think he was banging her out on the plane when they... Annie! It was a small plane. No, he was flying it. No. His dick looked huge on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy he was, was driving this boner. Show. He, okay, he is probably the hottest Kennedy, but... Personality-wise, I'm going to just predict Ted. the... No. I love how Ted can cover up a murder. <laughs> I think yeah. he'd be the least. Jeff uh, Like, I don't know. There's Can't something about... Can't him. He, like, didn't really accomplish anything in his life, and that's just, like... Who? JFK Jr. Like, well, he, he killed him. Yeah, he was going to. Young. But he, oh he my launched... Did you, did you know this? Like, George Magazine, he launched this, like, political, sexy magazine, and mm. it kind of is embarrassing to me that he did that. Oh. Well, because he never got to come to full fruition. Let's no, just I... say he came with a softy, with a semi. What are you? His life you was he like was a, a semi. That coming. nutted. <laughs> yeah. I um. He had the hair swoop. That was like his. He would have just the celebrity relationships he would have been in because he had dated like Jess- Sarah Jessica Parker and stuff. Like he would have gone oh, so much did. hotter. Yeah. He would have gone so much hotter. And his last wife was really pretty. She looked like Uma Thurman. Yeah, yeah she was. Carolyn uh, Bissett. Yeah, I Bissette. feel like they were going to stay together. And yeah. Maybe. Are you an Uma Thurman? Yeah. yeah. I like a little bit of off. Something's a little a, wonky. <laughs> something wonky. You know, a big dick. I mean, you know, <laughs> no. I like a face that's not like uh, Heidi Klum doesn't really. Right. Uh, she's obviously hot, but I, it's, she's a little wonky. I, I like a Sarah to... Jessica Parker. I like that big like old. A big yeah. old. Honker. I love a big nose. Oh, yeah. Especially me a big too. nose on a woman is so sexy to me. Jennifer Grey, she got a nose job. Uh, it hard. was yeah. so oh. weird. Weird. That. that was her whole thing. I that agree with thing. you. I think um, perfect symmetry is boring. Agreed. Like Chris Hemsworth, great, but also I feel like just like boring to look at over time. For me, like yeah. I find like just the same thing where something's got to be off, a weird mole somewhere. Mm. So like um, Adrian Brody, like that. Old... Oh my God, the big nose. Or Ryan Gosling, hot take. The face is crazy looking. Yeah, I think you're right. I'm sure in really? person he's like what? stunning. His face is very. Yeah, he's not. Yeah, he's very. His, his eyes, eyes are like a hot slot. Not the same. Really? Hey, you guys. Oh yeah, I don't know. The eyes are close. Yeah. The oh. one's like winky. Kind of lazy, yeah. And there's been work done to make it more, because it's been crazier in the past. That's probably why he's cool. The hair is odd. Yeah. Uh, but it is, and the nose is a little, yeah. Interesting. It's just blonde men. It's I'm sure I'd be hard. fully like like blonde slipping men. on my own pea juice if I saw him. But. Sure. <laughs> pea juice. <laughs> I, d- I briefed it for you. I don't want you to get scared. <laughs> <laughs> so who's your number one? Every gal's got a number one. I used to huh? say uh, leave Schreiber, but what? Then Whitney told me I just Ray Donovan. Like I just wanted to just fuck him through the screen. I was just so into him. I had no idea. And then um, you like the Jews? I do. I know. I really haven't dated Jews seriously, but I do. Mm. Yeah, I like mm. them too. My <laughs> the ladies. <laughs> For Mine is recently, but who's yours? Uh, Google Al Qaeda. 
Ah, what a funny sentence. <laughs> it should already be on a tab. To. Bin Laden is not bad looking, by the way. Bin Laden, but Bin Laden is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ben's is like He likes you. Filipinas. I'm in. Wait, Kalila, what about you? I feel like at one point yours was like a sumo wrestler. Yeah. Is that still what... Do you really think he's hot? He's got a decent face. No, Bin Laden's it's hot. Bin Laden. No, it's more like... And he gets um, things done. I don't know. I need to see under the beard. I can't decide if someone's hot unless I've seen under no, the beard. No, more like... I'm not more, getting tricked like that. More the young guys, like the ISIS guys. Is probably. Really? I agree with you, Esther. <laughs> I can't believe I actually is... agree with you on this, but I think you're right. The dark features, the hairy, the big beard is, is very attractive for sure. Not but like what you, is though, yours? Give, give um, <laughs> Recently, I've had a... I've gone from... any. Edgar Ramirez. I don't know who um, that is. Is who that is my that? gardener? <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? He's a who Venezuelan actor. Oh yeah, he's a. Um, looking but dude. recent, but my whole life, it's been you. You guys know this. It's Bill Murray. What? Yeah, a hero. You could get him. Bill Murray or him. Idris Elba. <laughs> Either is fine. Wait, with okay, me. but did you did watch you guys... Hijack? I haven't. On Apple, it's starring Idris Elba. You I guys, it's the Apple. best. It's so good, and he's amazing in it. <laughs> that guy. What yeah. about um? That looks like what I'm gonna look like when I'm older. <laughs> <laughs> like, I sure? think I look more like him, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> um, what about? Did you guys see the? I just watched the show last night. It was getting me so girl boned up, but um. What was it? Uh, normal people. It's like oh my! God. I was losing. Todd's like this guy's Wait. ugly. I'm like Todd, you do not know what I'm following. Every guy he thinks is ugly. On I'm like I'm already following him on Instagram. Have you? So I read. So I, I am like books. L- I should have read the book. I am losing my mind oh, over guy. the show. Todd made me turn it off to watch Big Brother. I'm like I am no. so horny. Like Any, why are you doing this to me? He blueballed me. Wow. This show over the pandemic. I am like had me losing. in such a love spell. I can't because I read really? the books. I love Sally Rooney, but. But this he guy, is. like, I can understand thinking is that I want to fucking destroy oh, him. I want to circumcise his penis with my own, my own. <laughs> Annie! <laughs> I want to fucking, cause I want to just make it happen. Yeah, Paul Mesco. I want to fuck that foreskin off him. What is it about him? It's, it must be his character. It is it's character. like he's rude. Yeah. <laughs> he's rude. He's brooding. He's okay. a fucking asshole, but he's kind of sweet. Got it's it. It's just, God. But they go in, on that show, they go full bush. They show everything. Yeah, and Todd's like, Todd's like, why would you have a full bush on him? Like, because it's grotesque. Like, you can't show like a shaved beeve on TV, but you can show a bush. Like, that might even be a merkin. Right. They have to do that. Do you know that one of the reasons why people think that normal vaginas are like the really closed ones, that those are the more common ones, are because in porno mags they used to say you had they had to Photoshop out any like actual lip showing because mm-hmm. it was why? too it was like too, too pornographic. Wait, do you have like a TV character, a movie character, or like a celebrity that's your like number one? I'm all over the road. I do like uh, SJP. Uh, Salma Hayek, I know, is a little hacky, but she's a sexy lady. Um, come on, look at that. I like her still age appropriate. It's good. I like older. I mean, she's got to grow with them, there. too. Yeah. <laughs> unbelievable. She's got to be 50. Yeah, she what about know. Sophia Vergara? Nah, eh, too cartoony. Yeah. She's like a. You know, These are real tits, rabbit. yeah. <laughs> also, she's, she's got, she feels like she smells like a tortilla, you know? Like, she seems like a real Mexican. But she's obviously hot, but... Yeah, but it's not your, like... Go-to. Yeah, it's, like, hanging out with her would be, like, all right, can you tone it down with the... Uh, the that's, one of, that's one of mine, actually. Oh! Hey, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I get that. That's not a bad choice, Pete. Oh, yeah. Amanda Pete. Very pretty. Uh, I love yeah. her. I like have, a big mouth. Now, have you seen she's gone to have a cover mouth? No. Pull it up. I Look think. at that. Stern. Oh, no, no, no. I'm thinking of someone else. I'm thinking of someone else. So you're into yeah. big mouths. I like, a, I like big, wacky features. Yeah. Huh. Look at that. That's a fucking ear to ear. Now, when you're at dinner with your parents, are you like, hey, pass the thing? Like, is that how you talk to them? <laughs> I don't speak. <laughs> I'm scared of them. Still scared of them. Are you like, really? comedy? They're like, what do you do for a living? Comedy. That's what could traumatize you into it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, do you try to be funny around them? No. No? No. Well, they're not big laughers. So I'm oh bombing. Oh, my God. I was bombing. <laughs> so hard. That's yeah. so funny. It was brutal. And I have friends come over and they're like, man, your parents, see, it's tough to get a reaction. I'm like, yes, welcome to my world. <laughs> uh, my parents are the opposite. Well, my mom will give me just deadpan. She'll be like, she thinks my mom, like her favorite things like Jackass. Really? She loves like Eric Andre's movie. She was like 
cry when he, he got pulled naked. Yeah, came off, she was howling. That's a cool mom howling. But if if I'm doing so, my dad thinks everything I say is funny, and wow. my dad and I will have like we'll just we'll have these like moments that are like we're crying, we're laughing so hard, and we'll come home and tell my mom to try to include her. Yeah, and she she'll go, I don't get it, and we're like, you fucking bitch. Uh. My dad and I'll be like fucking live bitch like right. open up like what do you she's adopted i'm like we're not gonna leave you <laughs> let's keep this attitude up i couldn't get my mom to watch jackass if i had a gun to her head really well it's too low brow she's okay. very cultured and she reads and drinks a glass of wine and listens to classical but that's kind of you went to film school right yeah i did but i still like jackass i like fucked yeah. up shit i like farts yeah, <laughs> you know, and yeah, farts are forever. I I listen. I, I follow this guy on Instagram. He doesn't have a big following, but it's just farts. I think that's his really? Instagram handle. Just farts. Just farts, and it's in the dark. All it's just a video in the dark. There's no asses or anything. It's just sounds. And it, he's like I, anonymous. I don't like that. Show your face. If you're gonna mm. be fart guy, I want it to ruin your career. Right. I, <laughs> I want you to have to be fart guy. I don't want you to have other options. Right. I definitely don't agree with you guys on the fart stuff. Being cute or funny. I don't think it, I don't, I don't think it is. I would blast you out about it if I was your man. <laughs> yeah, hot boxer. I would fart you out of this world. Dutch oven. <laughs> <laughs> you'd fall right and you'd want that toilet seat down. I would fling you into the toilet. But I agree with you. Um, in the 10 years I was with Bobby, I never farted in front of him. Oh my God, 10 Well, minutes. I didn't say that. <laughs> uh, so you do fart in front of Dave. I'm not <laughs> saying that either, but I just don't think fart humor is like like if someone walked in the room and was like let one out and thought it was funny i'd be like pull my finger is like hacky it's not sure yeah but like and i there's some people but the i've had the luck of my last few boyfriends todd included they've accidentally left shits in the toilet like kind of early on so i'm like but I'm like, thank God, because it's like, all right, you broke the seal. Right. Oh, no. You didn't flush it. You didn't hold the thing down. That was their worst mistake. What are some, I like rigged the toilet. What, <laughs> is, what are some early mistakes a girl can make? Mm, that's a good question. I think uh, flipping out, like having a meltdown too early is a huge turnoff because you're like, all right, I got to get this out of this. This is going to be my life. Yeah. yeah just Over like, small things? Or yeah. Something? What if it's warranted? That's fine. That's if it's warranted, it's fine. But just like snapping, like, I'm just having a bad day. You know, that whole thing. You're like, all right, I'm out. This gal's a uh, ticking time bomb. That's a tough one. Um, gross stuff doesn't bother me. Like, you know, if a girl has like toilet paper on her shoe or has like a little, you know, weird panty thing you know what's a, a weird panty in thing there, you know what i mean <laughs> our yeah. snail trail yeah that's fine because that's natural that just means she's human. ovulating yeah yeah it's it's more like crying over nothing <laughs> you know like she had a bad day at work and she's like i just uh, no one respects me and you're like ah oh, this is brutal poor self-regulation yeah yeah so that that's a tough one so i would say go fart Diarrhea it up, period, <laughs> blood all over the walls. But uh, the the freaking out or snapping, snapping on a friend, stuff like that. That's, that's tough. You know, you're right. That's the first thing I look for when I'm dating a guy is whether or not they could potentially have a temper or snap potential. Yeah, because that's really scary to me. Hate it. My dad was that way, and it fucked me up. Same. As a kid. Yeah. Same. My mom was super snappy, and so I would. It's like I I had a very eggshell type mm -hmm. of childhood. So when I look at a dude, I'm like, okay, like I like to see him under a certain amount of stress to see how he copes. Yeah, well, you should make little obstacle courses. I should. <laughs> or like, you. well, there's cheese and Esther. <laughs> not even in like a gamey kind of way, but I will kind of create obstacles where I'm like, okay, if I don't respond to him in a certain whatever, you know, like let's say I'm having a busy day, I want to know how he responds to that. Sure. Because if it's in any type of way, like even weird and if we're still in the first three months like uh, that's a red flag for me Agreed. i just always need because i my add is so crazy so it's like i just need a guy who's like patient so i can always tell when we're ordering food mm. like if i'm taking too long like because i had a boyfriend who would like yell at me if i was taking too long mm. and that's like i i can't have someone like no. rushing me yeah. or whatever it's like yeah i'm like busy i got things going on up here right but so i can always kind of like tell in those situations it's like patience is like what i need yeah because it's like i'm it's for me to retrain my add would be like almost impossible oh yeah it's too far gone 
I've yeah. never, <laughs> I've like never observed a red flag. I'm, I feel like I could just date anyone. I'm so pathetic. Oh, <laughs> we also <laughs> think that. We've also seen the roster and go, wow, <laughs> anyone. <laughs> Complainy is tough too, like a guy or girl. Like if I had yeah. a guy friend who was like, I'm just tired. I'm cold. Can we? <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, don't hang with Esther. Uh oh. I like somebody who can rally, you know? Like, <laughs> Esther you? like huffed, like she got out of her car today. She was like, <sighs> and I was like, what's wrong? I thought it was like obviously like something had happened in her life. She wants, it's just so hot. I'm like, oh my God, this door is like right there. <laughs> <laughs> you can make it. I don't notice weather. That's what's so funny. Like you're so I temperature sensitive. I can't believe you don't notice I can weather. go, unless something insane is going on. It's like freezing yeah. or so hot. Like I go to the car, I come back and we're in a Todd will be like, are we like, we're, what, should I wear a jacket? And I'm like, I have no fucking clue. Wow, but that's sometimes, nice. sometimes like complaining is not even complaining. It's sort of like a bid for connection. Uh, it's just, yeah. some, it's like when you tell me like I'm cold and it's, I'm like, let me get you a blanket. It's. It, I always see it as like, I don't think she's really that cold. She just wants, <laughs> wants to be to babied be mothered, or yeah. wants to be mothered in this. But moment. you know that in her now, so it's yeah, like you know how to. Yeah, I feel like though I've had it with my with with my friends. Like if you, when you first become friends, it's like you bond on like hating the same people. Yeah, you know how the friendship's gonna end, right? Yeah, they're gonna start hating you yes. or talking shit on you yes. or whatever. Yeah. Or if like you, like I have friends where it's like we've. I've complained to them about things so much that like when they call, I know it's going to be complaining and I have to be like, yes, hey, let's not do complain today. Let's not do that. And it's it's almost impossible because I've trained them to do that. Right. Yeah. Like if I'm annoyed with something they're doing, I did. I established that. In the yeah. yeah. It's good that you can realize that. Yeah. Very but I'm trying. It's like it's hard. And then you want to be rude to people because you want them to have their feelings. But it's like, yeah, God damn. So I'm like uh, there. I'm like. 10 affirmations in, you know, I'm like, oh, <laughs> I need another hour of these affirmations to be able to deal with what you're bringing to me right now. They're bringing you down. You're yes, exactly. I'm like, you come up to me, come up that. to me. And then you don't want to be the rude friend that's like, come on, look at the positive when they're like, happy. Right. I'm just like, you got to call someone else. It just <laughs> can't be me today. I can't do it. Yeah, agreed. Good that's, one. Yeah, that's high pressure. I, I have friends who will not take any less than an hour of your time. Like, so if they call, I have to know. If I pick up this phone call, yeah. I'm committing to an hour mm -hmm. because they just are kind of long winded a little it's bit. It's a lot to ask. Yeah. So most of the time I'll be like, hey, I'll, I'll call you this weekend when I have time, yeah. actual time for you. Yeah. I know. And I'm so worried about bothering people that I, I could never do that to somebody. I would want to call somebody for an hour to vent. Yeah, that's insane. That's insanity. Well, you're so busy liking every single person's things they post. You're yeah. so good at that. Well, I just feel bad. Like, oh, they're going to be sad. This is the first time <laughs> you haven't responded to my text. I forgive you, but... Oh, really? And I understand. But this is the first time ever since I've known you. I'll respond after this. Just okay. keep the yeah. train rolling. <laughs> but you're so good. You wish everyone their happy birthday. Yeah, that's That's so right. sweet. Really? I don't want to leave is it hanging. Is it sweet or psychotic? I don't know. A little of both. But it's every... It's like, it's wild. Norman's in there. Wait, yeah. I love that. Always since the beginning, since I met you. That's so like polite and but like that's Still what got it. my right inner child like, needs. That it. kind of consistency is what my inner child craves. I uh -huh. think okay. someone who you know is not going to miss. Greeting do you feel you pressure now that you're gonna have to do it? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. I'll be there. Well, Mark but there, yeah, you've you've called you've like called me like hours. I'm sorry, I was skiing. Like you're good. Oh you're yeah, good. yeah. You're fearful. I think fearful. It's fearful. I don't want to leave well, anyone hanging because I know the pain of being right. left hanging. So I, I can't love do leaving that to somebody. Hang. Well, egg, hang you grew up in like a sort of eggshelly kind oh, of. Oh yeah. Childhood. Big eggshell. Well, speaking of eggshells, this egg has hatched. <laughs> this has been a great nice. Thank you episode. so much Thank you, for Mark. coming back. That's on the special. Thank Check you. out the Soup special to on Nuts Netflix. on Netflix. It's so funny and like just great and original and weird. Definitely watch it. Tuesdays with stories. Are we drunk? Is that what it is? We called? might be we, drunk. We might be drunk. It's not, are you garbage? Okay. Uh, we might be drunk. I am He's garbage. He's everywhere. Um, you know him. You love him. Check out. Definitely just check out a special. And thank you, Mark. We hope to see you again soon. Thank you. This was illuminating and a great time. And I'm still bummed about the no BJ. <laughs> <laughs> Comedy. Bye, guys. Thank you. Thank you. That was fun.